or in this video segment, I will show you how you can copy courses from a content provider. So let's go ahead and go to Admin Courses Database. And there's a link here for import maps and lessons from your group. So in this case, I'm attached to the advanced group. And it's a two-step process, uh, which you'll see in the upcoming steps here. Step one is to decide how you want to map the fields, because they're going to have a little bit different template than your school probably has. And then step two is uh, to decide which courses you want to copy over. Also, in this case, Advanced not only has unit plans, but they also have lesson plans. So if you want to copy the lesson plans as well, go ahead and check this box and click Continue. If you leave this unchecked and click Continue, it's only going to copy the unit plans, um, not the lesson plans. So I'm going to go ahead and copy both. And it says, select the unit plan template that you want to copy to. So these are the templates that my school has. And I'd like to copy it into the default template. So these are the fields right now that Advance has for all of their unit plans. On the right side, these will be the fields that I have in my template uh, for my default template. So in this case, if I want to have the unit theme, um, or if I want to have the uh, unit objectives and concepts and so forth. So you can choose which ones you want. And if you want to skip any of these, you can. Now, like strategies um, or resources, that's going to be pretty easy because I have a resources. Assessments will go into assessment. Um, looks like they have two different types of resources. Um, so I'm going to actually grab both of those strategies. In this case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put those into my learning goals, uh, biblical integration. And let's say that I'm not going to use the, I'm going to put this into the framing questions, but the unit theme I'm just going to uh, leave out. And then I move on to, these are the fields that Advance has for their lesson plans. And for my lesson plans, I'll put it in the overview. I'll put this in objectives, the materials. Um, we'll put that in resources, student alert. I'm going to leave that out and then the background information. And by the way, there was videos on how to review what each of these fields means. You'll want to do that first before you make these important decisions. Um, and I did that. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on continue to step two. Step one was to map those fields together. Step two then is which courses do I want to copy over? So in this case, I'm going to copy over all of these uh, language arts courses. And I'll go ahead and click continue. Notice there's an EDV that's short for advanced. Um, whatever group you're copying from will have a three-digit code in front of it um, so that it will differentiate between your courses. So now I'll go ahead and click Finish. Uh, it's going to import that content in. And so now if I go to the Courses database, um, I believe I did English Language Arts, so let's choose that. And notice at the bottom here, must, I must have done this before, maybe for another video or something. But here's the ones that I just copied over. Um, I think it's this one down. And so now if I wanted to, I can go ahead and edit that if I want, or if I want to edit the name. So now it's EDV Novel Study. Maybe you want to keep that in there, but if you want to just call it Novel Study, you can take that out and click Save and Update. Um, you also need to go ahead and attach the appropriate teachers uh, to each of these as well. Notice right now it's a copy to a teacher called... Um, uh, called Lessons Copied instead. So you'll want to copy it or attach it to the other teachers as well. So in this case, what was it called again? Small Group Novels, if we want to look that up. If I go to the Maps area, and we'll go to English Language Arts, let's go way to the bottom. Here's the course I just copied, and then that came over from Advance. As far as the lessons, those can get copied over as well. Um, it's a little bit more work because I'd actually have to set up my um, class section. Doesn't look like I'm teaching that right now. Um, but 
we have other videos that will show you how to copy lessons as well. Uh, it's just that what you'll do is you'll copy for them from a teacher called uh, copied lessons instead of Mrs. Anderson or something like that. This now concludes this video segment.